everybody. Leads to Genetic Connection, another awesome video. This is going to be Borderlands Part 10. In the last episode, we defeated a couple of things that allowed us to get to this point where we are. Sanctuary was pretty much taken off the map and then put back on, and now we are trying to get back there. So we're going to do some terrible Metal Gear Solid stealthing right now and get to this next little place. Coming into contact with May result in exoskeleton obliteration. Thank you very much for telling me what I pretty much already knew. You're a terrible, terrible shot, combat engineer. Alright, so you're here now. We're gonna go ahead and go across the bridge. Sanctuary back on the fast travel network. Simple, <laughs> except not at all. Yeah, thank you very much for pointing that out. Oh crap, we have a constructor. We have a constructor. Who wants stuff? Apparently, not you, because you're not getting any. Come on, we can take this. We can take this guy out. Or not. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna die and go right back to the start, aren't we? Yep. Yep, back to the start. Alright, we're gonna go through this like normal. I will see you guys on the other side where we were. rather easily <clears throat> let's continue on the hunt so that is where we need to go guess what this open field normally means whenever you're buying a first person shooter slash rpg and there's an item that you want yeah you can probably figure it out but we'll just save that for story's sake and let you guys figure out what exactly is it's gonna have because it is kind of fun. Mode and moving That's it. We just gotta go up and grab it. Let's do that. That's a thresher. And you're eating that. You suck. See? Now we gotta use electricity to get that shield down. And I'm dead already. Target acquired! Yeah, this guy's kind of hard. Just saying. <clears throat> See you guys in a second. Actually, we're right here. I'm just being really lazy. Because you can see he's right in the background. We got all these friggin' loaders to deal with. I believe an EXP loader actually got me. I didn't actually get all of that damage from the Thresher. Jack is your god. Threshers are your enemy. And both consider you disposable. Grenade! Oh, right out loud. Put aside your difference and at least go after the friggin' thresher. Just for crying out loud. He's trying to kill us all. Come on. God. This is starting to tick me off. We're going after a 
you are trying to kill me. Where'd the loaders go? Oh, crap. There you are. Hi there. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> ah, crap. Reload. Blow him up. There we go. Who hit me? Yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of this either. That thresher's got us. So close, yet so close. I am really freaking angry now. I know I'm not very talkative, but that's because I'm actually trying to focus on the game. Specifically this part more than anything. And I don't have much to talk about, because I'm recording these, like, four episodes in a row consecutive. So... So that shield's gonna go down pretty slowly, and will I get in on this and say, freak you. How are you already recharging that friggin' shield of yours? How is it not going now? Run, 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 run! Okay, you guys suck terribly as loaders. <laughs> You and your freaking tentacles. Making me angry. Trying to kill me. I will climb up your windows and I will snatch your people up. And I will not hide my kids slash hide my wife. Because you will not be raping me. <laughs> oh, there was health right flipping there. Where? Where? Where the heck are you? You're there. I can't do crap with you. You are just going to have to die on your own time, because I cannot kill you. You, I also cannot kill because you're too far away. I keep forgetting I have a turret. So that's the fifth time I've died now. I keep forgetting that I have a turret that I can just send out and say, hey, what do I have? I'll leave you there for a minute. Come on. Final blow. Here we go. Son of a nut! Got it! Thank you, dear God. Just grab it. Just grab it. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you to pick up whatever it is that it wants me to pick up. That's all. We can use that to request an uncalibrated fast travel unit from the moon base. You'll need a quiet place to set up the beacon. Head to the town of Overlook. Thanks to Hyperion's mining operations, the people... I don't care. We're getting to Sanctuary, and then this is the end of the episode, because this is seriously going on for a lot longer than it needs to. This should seriously take like 10 seconds tops, and it's taking four scenic oh, ever. so frustrating. You see, this is what I don't get about you bad guys. You know the hero's gonna win, but you just don't die quickly. Man, uh, example, this one guy in New Haven, right? City's burning, people are dying left and right, yada, yada, yada. 
This jackal rushes me with a spoon. <laughs> a freaking spoon. And I'm like dying <laughs> laughing, right? So I scoop out his stupid little eyeballs with it, and his kids are all <laughs> And I, I can't. I can't. He can't see where he's going. He's bumping into the stuff. And I, <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Maybe you had to be there. The moral is you're a total bitch. That is one of the greatest speeches to ever come out of this game. And you, freaking turrets, can go into a hole and die. Because you are the number one cause of death among any freaking species that plays this game. So you should just go tell your little friends you're done. Because I'm sick of you. And if I'm sick of you, well, who knows where everyone else is sick of you already. <laughs> I'm just asking some robots, and I'm gonna freaking die. Are you feeling it now? Are you feeling it now? <laughs> yeah, money's great, but I could also use some health. That's a grenade. That would not be fun to deal with. Ammo count flash! Now this little area has a lot of enemies as well. It's always good to find some shotgun ammo, especially after you don't flipping need it. When did that loader get near me? That guy was gonna die! Ah! Dead, aren't I? Bro! Oh, I'm slagged, that's why. Bring it! Not that for you, huh? How did I do that? Okay, you're pissing me off, bro. I'm gonna wait for the slag to wear off. They decided, oh, it's a great friggin' idea to give this guy a slag gun. Ten health left. How many of you people are here? Rough number. Just a rough number, please. There's some data. Game over. I'm flipping them. Praise can protect you from everything, kids. I'm gonna burn to death. First of all, let's see. Thank you, you are dead, that was fun, but unfortunately we have to run along, so sorry, didn't get to do too much. But, that's the way things go from here on out. So sorry to rain on your parade, handsome Jack, but you're kind of a bitch. And you think I'm terrible? Oh, you should look at yourself every once in a while. So, let's see, what do we have over here? Oh, this is where we need to go, and guess what? We don't take falling damage, because we're just awesome like <laughs> So let's do that. <clears throat> yeah, that's the best part about Borderlands 2, is jumping off of cliffs and taking absolutely no damage. Now, the realistic aspect of that, I know, is completely BS, but the basis of the story is kind of unrealistic as well, wouldn't you agree? And I can run and reload. I'm pretty sure I can do that in real life. That's not out of the realm of possibility, is it? I don't believe so. Take the hint, Call of Duty. I'm giving you so much crap for a reason. I want you to get better.
There is a catcher right here, but you can't do anything with it. I see this. What is this? This is a place. The Holy Spirits. I've actually never been in here before. Oh, wait. Yes, I have. This is for a mission. I have been in here before. We actually do not need to be in here yet at all, so we are going to go back. We do not need to be in there yet. So th don't don't worry your pretty little head off. It'll be taken care of soon. Health is always good. Always good. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna you walk right up the huh? Used to be a nice little town until Hyperion took over. Now everybody there has got the skull shivers thanks to Jack's mining operations. Poor bastards are too sick to leave their homes. <laughs> You'll want to set up the beacon over there. Once the moon base processes our request, you should have a fast travel station. So, I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna die a few times. But here's what's gonna happen. It's transmitting the supply request now. We've just gotta wait a few minutes and... Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel? We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping you anymore. Defend that beacon. Now, if you can't even handle these motors, you're really gonna disappoint me. <laughs> Keep these guys back here. Station request received. Estimated processing time three to six weeks. No, 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 no. Move some data around. See if I can go to a next The grind is What the hell are you doing? I've increased your request's priority. T Bone Junction can live without medical supplies for another few months. XP loaders are going to be the biggest one because they will destroy these kind of conversations so quick. You've got to repair the beacon! Damn it, I'm empty! start the entire mission over. We just have to go back to the spawn point, wait for it to, you know, freak out and die, and then we have to repair it, and then we just keep going on from where it is, because I can guarantee you it's going to be broken by the time we get up there with all of those guys. Yep, there we should be. Okay. If you don't repair the beacon, the supply request won't go through. Ah! 
get that angle. Thank you very much for that. that I already know I can't help with. If you don't repair the beacon, you can't get back to Sanctuary. No more. Come on. On the move! Good. themselves. It's one of those moments that between AI and, you know, master that they just have to settle out. So whoop de flippin' do we are back in sanctuary and that is the end of this episode. Thank God. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know I didn't. So if you did please leave it a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay thanks. Bye. Actually this excuse me. All right, I confess hey, that you're Rod. a- Hey, feel like solving a murder? I'm the marshal around these parts. Uh, one of these gutter quadruplets pulled the trigger on that boy over there. Consider yourself deputized. Uh, ask around to Moxie and Zads, figure out which one of these identical scum stains pulled the trigger. Otherwise, I'll just have to hang them all and I don't got that kind of time. Pretty sure I know which one did it. So you can question Marshall, you can question Moxie, and question Dr. Zed. Now, I think I'm actually gonna do that because I can't remember which one it is. So we almost ended the video there, and I very greatly apologize that we didn't actually end the video, but here's what we're gonna do. A gutter brother? Oh yeah. One of them barged in here a couple hours. promises and he got bitchy. I, I had to pull out Ruby and put a few rounds in him. His shield ate the first two, but boy did he feel the last one. Nobody threatens me in my joint. Alright, if you say so. <laughs> Wrong! See ya, idiots! It really doesn't matter what you do, but that's the one that it is. I completely forgot that it was him. I just mind burp for a second. <clears throat> anyway, see you guys next time.